Shalom. I want to start off by giving our praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son through the name of the Holy Spirit. That's called Halayim, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostle elders out there ruling well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. The late man pushing his faith and truth and sincerity. I want to say Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Um, Rakak, Thumb. It's all you sincere listeners may tune into this, which means uh, blessings unto you. In peace, blessings unto you in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, the Most High, and His only begotten Son, through the name of the Holy Spirit. And um, peace unto the nation of Israel. This is Brother Yitzhakah, coming back at you with another lesson through the Spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Rakal Kadash, all praises and honor due. And um, I want to entitle this lesson Awake to Righteousness, inspired off of 1 Corinthians 15 and 34. And um, I'm just going to jump right into it uh, without any further ado. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 34. It says, Awake to righteousness and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I speak this to your, your shame. So it's when, when you when you are woke, you are to awake to righteousness. And staying woke is continuing to apply the knowledge you have learned, you know, and not, uh, you know, con constantly, uh, constantly meditating, constantly uh, pr uh, putting into practice. Um, the works of righteousness, you know, um, uh, the uh, con constantly uh, continuing in the, uh, to, to to walk in the spirit, constantly um, committing yourself into the ways of uh, of righteousness. You know, that's that's what it means to awake unto righteousness. So when we're when we're woke, because you know, a lot of times, you know, people say I'm woke or we're woke. We're in we're in the know. We're in the woke. We're 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 woke. We're not sleep. Well, to be sleep, to not be sleep means you have awoke to righteousness, you know, and that means you're 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 not uh, you're not putting forth your hands into iniquity and into sin, you know. That's uh, what you're supposed to awake to awake unto righteousness, you know. So, like, yeah. so um, let me get this word awake, and that's why also like in verse thirty three it tells you be not deceived. Because evil communication corrupt good manner, and that evil communication, you know, uh, ultimately goes into, uh, you know, uh, uh, being involved, being involved in uh, other doctrines, other philosophies outside of the works of righteousness. You know, those that's that evil communication, communicating with uh, uh, ungodly spirits, communicating with uh, evil ways. Um, select you. Let's read the word awake. My fault. I don't know. Uh, that's G1594. Ekenufo, which means to return oneself from drunkenness, become sober. Metaphorically, to return to soberness of mind. So that's what, uh, being awoke, awake means. You know, basically to separate yourself from the ways of iniquity, to separate ourselves from the ways of sin and the ways of the world. You know, because that's that's what makes you drunk. You know, when you're, you're sober and vigilant when you're pure, when you have a pure mind. You know, when you have a pure conscience, and the only way to have that is to be able to uh, is is to be walking within the commandments of of, uh, of the heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, to be walking in the Spirit, and abiding within the uh, and, and putting forth uh, works that come forth from the Spirit. You know, the fruits of the Spirit. You know, so. Uh, uh, I'm gonna read this one more time. This First Corinthians 15 and 34 it says, "Awake to righteousness and sin not." So that's how we awake. That's how we're awoke. You're, you're not woke if you're not if you're still putting forth your hands into sin and iniquity. You know, it says, "For some have not the knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yashai." Speak this to your shame. So if we have awoke unto righteousness and we understand um, what the Heavenly Father is delighted in and what He's pleased with, and how we walk in the ways of righteousness. You know what I'm saying, uh, and you know we're still we're still putting forth our hands into iniquity. That's that's very shameful. It's very shameful, you know, because there's there's men within this world and women within this world whom are putting forth their hands into sin, who are sinning, who are putting forth their hands into iniquity. They, they don't have the knowledge of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So who's really who's really worst off? Those who or in the faith and know the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahshua and still putting their uh, hands forth into sin and iniquity and works of the flesh, or those whom don't even have the knowledge of Yahweh Shem Yahshua and are committing 
uh, commit, committing sin and uh, putting forth their hands into iniquity and operating within the flesh. It, it, it's really us. We're we're really way worse off if 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 we're if we uh, proclaim to be woke and we haven't uh, and we're, we're not we we're not awake unto righteousness. We're still. Uh, don't have that full soberness of mind, you know. Let's get this word with Romans. I mean, let's go to Romans. Romans 13 and verse 11. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It says, And that knowing the time that now is the, it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. So when it's saying it's time for us to wake out of sleep, is asleep, it means wake wake up out of the works of darkness, wake up out of the works of the flesh, work up out of wake up out of the uh the works of iniquity you know that's that's uh that's what it's saying for now is our salvation nearer than we believe knowing the time knowing the time that now you know uh uh righteousness has returned unto the righteous you know uh knowledge is being increased you know the spirit of our lord yahweh shah mashiach is uh prevalent within the earth and with within this world you know uh we uh have fell away and we're uh we're we we've had that falling away first you know the the, the hearts of the fathers are being turned into the children and children to the father so um you know now we're we're, we're being we're, we're we we have the ability to wake up uh out of out of uh that that that, that sleep that sleep that we were in you know um the the that gross darkness that we were under through the spirit of our lord Mashiach, you know so that's how we know our spirit our salvation is nearer than we believe because when our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach um, get ready to make 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 his second coming, you know, he's gonna redeem those whom he find faith in within the earth. You know, so this is what it's going into when it's saying that knowing the time, knowing the time that now, you know, you have men being uh instilled with the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, it's time for us to awake uh unto righteousness and walk in the spirit of our Lord. Why? Because that because what uh that's gonna lead us into uh being redeemed and called up with our Lord once He makes His second coming, you know, not just knowing the time, uh, not not knowing the time that we see uh, you know, all these different uh things going forth. We're just gonna be like, okay, uh, oh we 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 gonna keep on paying attention to these different things that's going on and that's gonna make us awake. You know what I'm saying? Be ready for our salvation. Nope. Because because we'll let's read the verse twelve. It says. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. Right. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. So that's what it's all about. Putting on the armor of light and casting off the works of darkness. That's how you are awoke. You know, that's how you awake. That, that's how you're that's how you awake out of sleep by casting off the works of darkness, which means putting away the works of iniquity and of sin and the works of the flesh. You know, this is how you're awake, you know. Not by just uh, knowing what the hell is going on in geopolitics. Not by just knowing uh, uh, what, what what Esau is doing. That's that's not how you're you're uh, you're 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 awake out of your sleep. You know. Let's keep reading. It's saying in verse thirteen. It says, "Let us walk honestly, as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness." Not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. And so, the, why? Because these are evil works. If you're if you're uh, involved in contention, debate, you know, strife, um, confusion, you know, envying, um, you know, pride, you know, um, you're in wantonness. You're not uh, you're not uh, being observant and circumspect of, of what kind of spirit you're operating in. You know, you're you're chambering. You're you're uh, mingling with other philosophies and doctrines outside of the ways of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You're drunk. You're in drunkenness, which means that you know uh, you're, you're drunk with uh, you know you, you could be drunk. You're drunk off other philosophies and other doctrines and uh, and, and other tenets and opinions outside of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know you're not walking honestly. You're not being pure. You haven't purified your soul, and you're not uh, as you should be if you were in the day. You know. Uh, you sh you shouldn't be doing this thing, these things when you have awoken to righteousness, because so it's actually uh, about your character, your 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 moral character and how you're conducting yourself. That's how you're awake. You know, that's that's what that, that's what it's about. You're not awake because you can see a whole bunch of stuff that's happening around you, man. <laughs> that's that's not it, man. It says, 
Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put yea on the Lord, Yahweh Shah my shot, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. See there it go right there to make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. You know, so that's what it's all about. That's how you awake to righteousness is by putting on our Lord, Yahweh Shah my shot. You know, how do you put on our Lord, Yahweh Shah my shot? That's those uh, that's putting on that glorious garment Letting your garment be uh, always white and How do you do that? Because you're conducting yourself as our Lord Conducting himself You're coming in a humble, meek, lowly um, Gentle um, uh, Charitable um, Enduring um, a Loving spirit You know, this is this is how You uh, put on the Lord And this is how you avoid uh, Making provisions for the flesh To fulfill the lust thereof Because when you're making provisions for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof, you know, you want to be involved in hatred, variance, you know, seditions, uh, you know, fornication, uncleanness, you know, excessiveness, lasciviousness, you know, idolatry, emulations, uh, you know, reveling, you know, filthiness, uh, jesting. You know, when you're involved in these different different things, you know, you're 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 actually committing yourself you're, you're, you're actually making provisions for the flesh and you're fulfilling the lust thereof, which means that you're not putting on our Lord, Yahweh Shah Masha, and you're not walking in the light. You know, you're not awoke. You're you're still you're 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 being gnawed back to sleep or you are asleep. You know, if you're still committing yourself um into the works of the flesh, you know, so to awake out of sleep, uh i.e. ignorance and, and put so so awake out of sleep means to uh uh to, 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 to wake up out of ignorance to, to be not knowing And put on the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah Masha, You know Which will make it to where you will never be Unbearing or fruitful Well let's let's get there real quick Because how do you uh, How are we going to how, how are we going to put Put on the Lord and walk in his knowledge What well, it tells us in First Peter The first chapter It's like in Second Peter Second Peter the first chapter it goes into uh okay let's let's read it real quick in this second peter one and five it says and besides this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and virtue knowledge so we have to add to our uh we have to uh give all diligence you know uh earnestness and eagerness to uh to 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 have uh to be faithful because our lord you have a shot my shot when he's come he's looking for the faithful on the earth and then to our faith we have to add virtue you know which represents innocence and purity and to our virtue knowledge and what uh what what knowledge do we have to add to our purity and our innocence the, the knowledge of our lord yahweh shah mashat which means to abase ourselves to be humble to be meek you know to be lowly you know it says into knowledge temperance and continually uh, restraining ourselves within that knowledge uh, that that virtue that we have added into our knowledge continually to restrain ourselves and operate within that spirit you know, uh, so so we're adding that to our knowledge, so we can continually uh, conduct ourselves within that knowledge and and, and operate um, according to that knowledge. It says into temperance, patience, into temperance, patience, so we could be patience within this temperance. We can continually do it, like we were saying, and to be into patience, godliness, into patience, godliness. You know, because the heavenly Father is is long suffering. Our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach is long suffering, therefore bearing. It says, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. So the, the, in, in, in order to be God-like, in order to be like the Heavenly Father, have a moral character like him, and our, like, like our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashat, we have to have kindness amongst brethren, and to brotherly kindness, charity, you know what I'm saying, to continually uh, give of ourselves within that brotherly kindness, you know. And what it says in verse 8, for if these things be in you and abound, so if, if these things are in us and abounding, you know, they're growing, you know, they're exceeding. They make you that they shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. So that's, that's, that's how you uh, ultimately are never unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. This is how you constantly put on our Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, and stay awoke and, and, and uh, keep yourself from falling into that, uh, that sleep state, that drunken state again, you know. Is by continually committing yourself into faith, virtue, virtue, uh, uh, virtue and knowledge, uh, temperance, you know, patience, uh, and godliness, brotherly kindness, and charity. You know, these are these are the characteristics of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach.
and this is how uh, we, um, and we, if we abound in these things and give diligence within these aspects, this is how we um, uh, keep ourselves from committing, uh, committing ourselves unto works of the flesh and making provisions for the flesh, you know. And this is how we are awoke to righteousness. Let's go to Daniel. Daniel 12, verse 2. It's Daniel chapter 12 and verse 2. It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. So many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. What does that dust represent? It represents that confusion. It represents that uh that drunkenness. It represents that uh the uh the darkness. It represents darkness, it represents uh uh the works of the flesh. You know, those the, those things are all, you know, it represents the, the wisdom that's from below. This 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 earthly sensual and devilish, you know. Many are many of them that are asleep within this wisdom, within this knowledge. You know they're gonna awake. How are they gonna awake? Because they're gonna awake unto righteousness. They're gonna put on our Lord Yahweh Mashiach. Some to everlasting life. Some to everlasting life. Why? Because uh, those that believe on our Lord Yahweh Mashiach are not going to perish but receive everlasting life. Why? Because their life is gonna be hid in Him. It says, Salakia. It says, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. And some to shame and everlasting contempt. Why? Because uh, they're going to continue. They're, they're not going to put on our Lord, Yahweh Shah, my shot, you know, and they're going to get caught up. Uh, uh, they're, they're not going to continue. They're, they're not going to continue to be awoke unto righteousness. And they're going to continue to put forth their hands into iniquity. And they're going to be caught up in that shame. Just like uh, Apostle Paul said in uh, 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, about how all have not the knowledge of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, and I speak this to their shame. Speak this to your shame. You know, some are going to get caught up in that shame. Why? Because uh, they're not going to uh, they're not going to fully awake unto righteousness and um, not make provisions for the flesh and put on our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. You know, so they're going to get caught up in um, in everlasting contempt. You know, they're going to get caught up in everlasting contempt, which ultimately that everlasting contempt represents uh, a variance, I believe. Matter of fact, let me go back into it. Pretty much represents a uh, hatred. Uh, pretty much represents the flesh Yeah, aversion There it go, yeah, aversion So it represents abhorrence, you know Which ultimately represents uh, uh, Hatred, you know, detesting And things that are disgusting You know, that which which ultimately is the flesh They're going to represent uh, uh, Filthiness, you know And um, uncleanness You know, unholiness You know, and they're going to uh, represent it through Uh you know, committing themselves unto uh, works in the flesh and making provisions for the flesh and continuing to uh, stay asleep within drunkenness and rioting. You know, so I tell you, in, uh, so so many will awake, some will awake unto unrighteousness and come and some will awake, uh, so like some will awake unto righteousness and, and some will awake unto death, you know, represent, you know, uh, and, and, and what death represents, which ultimately, uh, represent sin so some will awake to you know continue uh continue within the path of darkness and some will awake to continue to walk within the light you know so now no now now that knowing the time that some it's time for it's time for us to wake up out of that state of confusion you know out of that state of uh uh that, that the flesh uh, carries us in, which is ultimately death. You know, life has been presented unto us through our Lord Yahweh Shah Masha, and that knowing the time, or now it's uh, it's time for us to buckle up, buckle down, and commit ourselves and our members unto our Lord Yahweh Shah Masha, so that we could possibly receive everlasting life. Let's go ahead to Isaiah. It's Isaiah fifty-one and verse seventeen. It's Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 17 it says, Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahabashai, the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunk in the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. You know, so we have to awake, you know, because we finally have uh, th this cup of punishment being take away from, taken away from us. And that, that, that also applies to uh, what I believe is Lamentations 4 and 22. You know, when it says uh, the punishment of thine iniquity has been accomplished, O daughter of Zion. And also, I believe uh, in Isaiah, the 40th chapter, um, it speaks about how uh, we're, we are to speak comfort, 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 comfortably unto Jerusalem because uh, they they uh, have fulfilled the iniquity that the Heavenly Father has uh, uh, pronounced against us. You know, so uh, 
Let me read it one more time. So it says, awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which Jerusalem represents the nation of Israel, represents our people, you know. It says, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, the cup of his fury, which we have drunk in the cup of the Heavenly Father's fury, you know, going through uh, numerous captivities, you know, including being in this captivity right now and being subject unto the flesh, you know, being cast down from our first estate, you know, and being subject, um, uh, subject in hell, you know, <laughs> and, uh, ultimately subject into these chains of darkness, which represents the flesh, which is hell in a sense. You know, because it, because uh, all flesh shall wax old as a garment. You know, uh, what is our life? It is, it, it is as a vapor. You know, so ultimately, it's, our life is just quick. We just go to, go back to the grave. You know, it says, which has drunk at the hand of the Lord. You have by Shemashah, the cup of His fury. Thou has drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. You know, so we have to awake, uh, because we uh, we we have finally you know fulfilled the. Uh, the uh, the judgment that's pronounced against us within punishment, the indignation of the heavenly Father, like Ezra was speaking about, like you know, when is when when is the world that was made for us gonna you know pretty much um, you know be given unto us, you know, what what ultimately is gonna be given unto us when we fulfill this punishment, you know, it says we we so so we have to stand up um, and continue within uh, the works of righteousness. You know, so we don't uh, keep getting punished. You know, now that we have an escape route, now, now that we have an escape route from the punishment of our iniquity, you know, we have to uh, wake unto righteousness and continue within righteousness and put on our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, so we can escape those things that's, uh, you know, pronounced against uh, the wicked, you know, and th those who are going to receive, uh, you know, receive uh, judgment. Uh, when our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach makes his second coming, you know, uh receive judgment of uh uh fire. <laughs> you know, fire and perdition that's reserved against ungodly men. Let's go to uh Mark. It's Mark chapter four, verse thirty-eight. It's Mark chapter four verse thirty-eight, and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish so Yahweh Shah was already awake to righteousness that's why he wasn't pressured you know because when you read well let's just read it let's just see let's just read up a little bit I start from 36 is mark 4 and 36 and when they had sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there were also with them with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full and he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and said unto him master carest thou not that we we perish but so so they, they they the disciples was was, was pressured like oh man this boat we finna drown man we finna go up under we finna sink like you 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 ain't worried but Yahweh Shah was was sleep during this time why because he was awoke unto righteousness you know he wasn't studying he wasn't studying the fact that uh this this boat was finna sink sink and uh and, and that he was sleep during all these things going on why because he was awake unto righteousness man you know. So that's why we got to put on our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach because uh, it causes us to be awoke unto righteousness. And w regardless of what's going on, you know, we don't have to be worried about it. Why? Because through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach, we can conquer it. You know, so Yahweh Shah, he was already awoke unto righteousness. That's why he wasn't pressured when, you know, the boat was uh, getting beat upon, you know, when when the, uh, it was it was getting filled with water, you know, when it was about to sink, you know. Because he knew that, well, verse 39, he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm, you know. So through the spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashat, we can conquer whatever, you know, we can conquer whatever. Long, long as we are continually, uh, long as we have our Lord put on and we're uh, awake, awake unto righteousness and we're not, uh, and we have fully casted off the works of darkness, you know. Let's go here to Revelation 3. This is Revelation chapter 3 and verse 2. 
It says, be watchful and strengthen the things which will remain, which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before you have Hashem Yashah. So this details how even if we are getting tired and ready to go back to sleep, you know, ready to, you know, fall back into these works, works of darkness, even though we even though we're ready to rest, we need to stay awake and don't fall back asleep. Why? Because uh because uh Yahweh Shah has not found our works perfect before Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. So that means that we have to continue uh within the works of righteousness until the end. You know, so we'll be saved. He that endureth until the end, the same we should be saved. You know, like we was reading about in Second Peter one and five, you know, that's why I tell us uh give give diligence to add uh unto those uh different characteristics because uh this is how we make our calling and the election sure. You know, it's by uh, continuing to strengthen, strengthen the things that remain and what 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 remain. You know, only thing we have left is Yahweh Shah my shot because we by strength shall no man prevail. We don't have what it takes within us. Only through the Spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah my shot and the gifts that He has given unto us, uh, we we uh uh that that's that's the only thing that remains in us. You know, that's what gives us the power to be able to. Uh, strengthen the things that are ready to die You know which uh, ultimately represents Our flesh because the spirit is contrary to the flesh So the spirit Is how we could uh, ultimately Overcome this flesh which uh, You know imprisons us and, and, and Holds us captive you know And uh, through through that spirit We continue to put forth works Of righteousness and Lord willing Perfect our way with the heavenly father Yahweh and be accepted You know uh, by our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashat because We've completely perfected ourselves through our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashak, and operating within the works of our Lord. You know, let's go to Matthew 26 and 38. It's Matthew chapter 26 and verse 38. It says, Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little farther. Cause, cause, you, so like, yeah, when you, when you, when you go, I did a lesson about this before. Fine, so doing, cause we, uh, it's called fine, so doing. When you go on um, into, oh, it's in the same chapter. Oh, okay, so like, so like, yeah. my father was about to jump the gun. So like, yeah. um, let me keep going. Let me start back over. This, uh, Matthew 26, uh, 38, 38. They, then say he unto them, our Lord, Yahushua, my shiach speaking, my soul is exceeding sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here. And watch with me. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. And he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep and said unto Peter, What could ye not watch with me one hour? Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. So this parable is written because Yahweh Shai wanted us to understand the importance of not falling back asleep and staying woke with him. How are we staying woke with him? Because we're putting on our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. That's why this par parable was written. Because watch, because you know a lot of times we bring a watch and pray. You know, watch and then you just think like, oh, watch means just to watch the news, watch RT, watch... uh. These different uh, news outlets watch uh, these different uh, significant uh, calamities that's going on throughout the earth. Watch different uh, deaths that's happening to people, you know, and and, and, and then pray that you that you don't uh, have to take part in that. No, that's not what they're saying. <laughs> that's not what they're saying. Why to watch and pray means to be circumspect that you're not falling back into the works of darkness and pray that you don't fall back into the works of darkness, man. Why? Because the spirit is willing. The spirit is willing. The spirit of our Lord, Yahushua Mashiach, is willing to do it, but the flesh is weak. So we're in the flesh. So we have to uh, be able to uh, strengthen those things that remain and that are ready to die. And how do we do that through the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach and being watchful that we're in that we're that we're staying within that spirit and praying that our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach can continue to sup with us, you know, so we don't fall into uh, the works of darkness, you know. Um, let's go here to First Thessalonians. This First Thessalonians, chapter five. 
first Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 6. It says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. So we can't just sit down and fall asleep like the children of darkness. You know why? Because it say for they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. So if, 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 if we're the children of light, if we are the children of light, then we can't be sleep. If we're sleep. If, 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 we're, if we're falling asleep, but we're the children of light, that really means we're we're the children of darkness. We're 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 we're, we're deceiving our own selves, man. You know, if we're thinking that we're awoke, <laughs> we're we're awoke, but we're still committing um, committing works of darkness. We're really sleep, and we're really drunken. You know, with those who are sleeping and drunken at night. But what it say in verse eight? But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. Wow, because these are characteristics of our Lord, Yahushua, Mashiach, and what is entailed within the spirit. And for an helmet, the hope of salvation. And for the helmet, a hope of salvation. So a part of uh, putting on that breastplate of faith and love, you know, is a part of you watching, you know, making sure you got your breastplate on, making sure you continue to be faithful, making sure you continue to be loving, you know, benevolent, merciful, you know, charitable, you know, and a helmet for the hope of salvation. And that's praying, you know. Hoping that our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat can account us, uh, the Heavenly Father Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat, uh, through, through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat can account us worthy for salvation, you know, and hoping within that. Why? Because in verse 9 it said, For, for Yahweh Shah Mashat have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat. So we have been appointed, we haven't been appointed unto wrath, we've been appointed to obtain salvation through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat. By what? Staying woke and operating within the works of righteousness. Who died for us, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Which, you know, that represents, that sleep right there represents death. Because if you die in the Lord, you no, know, let me see. I think it's Revelation 14. Yeah, that's it. It's Revelation chapter 14 and verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. From henceforth, ye said the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. So, in the, uh, another word for uh, being dead or dying is uh, falling, going to sleep, going like going to sleep with your fathers. That means uh, you're you're actually dead, but you're liter but you're really sleeping, you're really sleeping. You know, so uh, whether we do die. If we die within the Lord, if we die under the banner of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashak, if we die with our Lord put on as our garment, okay, our works of righteousness that we were committing were going to follow us, whether we uh, are awoke when the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, makes his second coming, or if we went to sleep with our fathers and are dead, we're still going to be redeemed by our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's why um, if, we're, if we're awoke, unto righteousness we don't have no reason to be pressured about what's going on that's just like in uh we we, we read in uh mark the fourth chapter when the, the waves was beating upon the ship and your was was wasn't wasn't pressured you know so whether we let me go back to that first thessalonians 5 and 10 it says who died for us that who died for us that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. You see, so um, through our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashat, whether we're woke or sleep, whether we're alive or uh, or, or or dead, if we have awoke unto righteousness, we're going to continually be uh, we're, we're going to awake unto everlasting life. Like we read in Daniel the twelfth chapter. Let's go here to Isaiah sixty. Is Isaiah sixty in verse one? It's uh, Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come, which is our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And the glory of our Lord of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, is risen upon thee, which represents our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That's the glory of him, you know, our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. And, um, you know, that, 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 uh, it's, it's, it's the glory of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, because, uh, now we have, uh, what it takes to ultimately, uh, be redeemed and escape punishment iniquity death and sin and uh we have what it takes to uh be joined back unto the heavenly father yahweh and receive uh receive that new covenant 
It says, verse 2, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord, Yahabashimasha, shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. You know, his glory shall be seen upon thee, which ultimately represents our Lord, Yahabashimasha, and his majesty. You know, it's going to be seen upon us. You know, uh, and, and we're, we're going to be able to, uh, and we're going to be able to, uh, you know, uh, help others also, uh, uh, come unto light, like I tell you in verse three, and the Gentiles shall come to the light, and the king and kings to the brightness of thy rising, and kings to the brightness of thy rising, right? Because uh, there's gonna be many who are gonna follow pernicious ways unto destruction. There's gonna be uh, a remnant of men who are gonna follow the uh, ways of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach unto everlasting life and unrighteousness. Like it says, my sheep hear my voice, and they do follow me. You know, and uh. None is lost except for the son of perdition, the son of destruction. You know what I'm saying? So some is going to awake uh, unto more more perniciousness and more darkness. Because really, if you're ignorant, and you're, you're, you're ignorant when you sleep. But if you have awoke and then you understand what you're supposed to be doing, but you uh, but you just be like, nah, F that, I'm going to just go back to sleep. You know, then, uh, you know, you've pretty much awoke. You, you've awoken unto darkness. You've awoken just to go back to sleep. But you have those who are going to awake. To know what they got to do and continue within uh, the ways of righteousness, you know. So we are to be the light for the whole house by exemplifying your house side within spirit. We are like guards. We we have to wake up our people. So we definitely have to be awake. So, you know, through through the glory of your house, through the glory of our, uh, uh, through the glory of your house, the heavenly father, the most high. Our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach is seen in us, and we have to uh, let our light shine uh, among men so that they can follow the light. You know, so we have a heavy uh, responsibility if we are to be representatives of, of of the woke, those who are in the woke, so to speak, or those who are staying woke. You know, uh, staying woke has a, a heavy a heavy responsibility because you can't fall asleep, and you have to continue to let that light shine uh, and be that example for the house. Of Israel, you know what I'm saying, so they can come to the light, and they can also uh, receive redemption through the Spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, you know, and they can awake unto righteousness, you know. Let's get uh, Matthew five and fourteen. Well, that's what I just quoted. This is Matthew chapter five and verse fourteen it says, "Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set set on a hill cannot be hid neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven so us being awake causes the glory of the lord yahabashimasha to be seen you know when we're awoke unto righteousness and we're commending our uh our works within righteousness and walking within the spirit of our lord Okay, you know, by being charitable, by being virtuous, by being faithful, you know, by uh, having brotherly kindness, you know, by uh, being patient, by being temperate, you know, this is what uh, and, and, and uh, operating within within that spirit, you know, this is how our good or uh, our good works are seen, you know, this and this is how the uh, glory of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach is seen, and this is uh, and this is how uh, others uh, can know. Can, can know what what to follow so they could they could uh receive redemption you know let's go ahead to x it's x chapter 13 and 47 it says for so have the lord yahweh yahweh shai commanded us saying i have set thee to be a light speaking of uh i think it's isaiah the 49th chapter i have set thee to be a light of the gentiles that thou shouldest be so be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. Which let me just make sure that was uh I think that was like Isaiah 49. It might be Isaiah 47. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, yep, that's it. It is Isaiah 49 and 6. It says, and he said, It is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to to raise up the tribes of J Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles, that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Yep, so that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth, you know. So that's what it's all about, us being that light, you know, being raised up by the Spirit of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, um, 
that that causes the glory of the heavenly father you to be seen and it makes us to be a light uh for the gentiles those who are within ignorance those who are with sleep within sleep so that they can cast off the works of darkness and awaken to righteousness and walk within the spirit of our lord as well and possibly uh have some salvation regardless of where they are in the earth so we are needed as that light you know so this this is even more incentive on why we are to awake unto righteousness because our salvation is nearer to, than we believe you know because uh uh, us operating within the spirit and walking within the light this is going to cause others to walk in the light as well and um you know uh uh possibly you know receive salvation you know and i kind of want to get ephesians 5 let me get that yeah let me just get it let's get ephesians 5 so it, it tell you right here it, like when you read one I ain't gonna read it But when you read one through Let's just read it Might as well Let's just read it This is Ephesians 5 and 1 It says Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai's dear children And walk in love As a Mashiach also have loved us So we're supposed to walk in love As a Mashiach has also loved us Why? Because these are works of righteousness And this is how you're awake unto righteousness man You're not supposed to wake unto hatred man That means you don't woke up into everlasting contempt man You don't woke up to aversion and, 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 and uh, abhorrence you know, you're 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 still operating within the in the flesh. It says, "And walk in love as a Mashiach also have loved us and have given Himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling Savior." You know, so to Him, uh, so our Lord Yahusha Mashiach has given Himself as an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh as a sweet smelling Savior, and that's ultimately that's the ultimate charity, which is the bond of perfection, which is the ultimate work of uh, righteousness. You know, that's how you know you have awoke unto righteousness when you're uh, when you're giving of yourself completely. This is what makes you perfect. This is how our Lord Yahweh Shabbat is going to find your works perfect before Yahweh. Verse three, it says, but fornication and all uncleanness, you know, which represents excessiveness and represents uh, 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 stepping into the ways of uh, false gods and uh, and uh, and pretty much idolatry. You know, uh, when you start to worship your own belly, when you start to follow your own opinions and your aims, when you start to believe in what men say, you know, when you uh, uh, when when you when you when, you, when you're walking adverse into the ways of our Lord Yahweh Shah or covetousness, which you know covetousness represents wanting. You you know you want because it says let patience have our perfect want so that you may be entire and wanting nothing. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not letting patience have its perfect work, which is also a part. Of the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashak and the spirit of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashak, you know, you're being covetous. You're not being you're not being content with such things as you have, which ultimately represents uh, our Lord Yahweh Shah. It says, Let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Why? Because uh that's that's you you haven't woke unto righteousness. It says awake unto righteousness and sin not. You know, these things represent sin, uncleanness, excessiveness, uh warning, uh uh, an idolatry fornication and uh you know involving yourself with an evil communication which means strange doctrines and things that are adverse into the commandments of our lord yahweh shah mashak and the heavenly father yahweh it says neither filthiness neither filthiness nor foolish talking which these 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 things represent sin too foolish talking you know nor jesting you know being making a mock you know making a mock at, at people and and uh you know uh cursing people you know and uh you know being bitter and evil towards others you know these things which are not convenient but rather give thanks why because that's what you should be focused on that you're not one of these people you know if you're doing these things or if you you're involved in fornication uncleanness and covetousness it's not not nothing more uh not nothing more wicked than a uh a covetous man then if you're involved in foolish talking and jesting you have forgotten that you have been purged from your old sins and you're not walking within the knowledge of our lord yahweh shah mashak and you're making provisions for the flesh which means that you're not uh knowing the time and now is the high time to awake out of sleep it says for this they know that no whoremonger nor unclean person nor covetous man who is an idolater right so a covetous person a fornicator a harm uh uh, 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 unclean person these are all idolaters like we, it all represents idolatry have any inheritance in the kingdom of Amashiach and of Yahweh you know so you're not going to be able to be able to uh 
uh, that, that spirit that's within you is not going to be able to abound and grow so you can grow into that perfect stature and be accepted, you know, um, by the heavenly father, Yahweh. It says, let no man deceive you with vain words for because of these things come of the wrath of Yahweh upon the children of disobedience. So if you want to go for yourself within these works, regardless of what anyone say, if you're doing these things, you're going to have wrath come upon you. It says, be ye, be not ye therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes in darkness, right? Because we were supposed to be in our unwoke unto righteousness. But now ye are, are ye light in the Lord, our Lord Yahushua Mashiach, walk as the children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. You know, and sometimes you might have to correct yourself. <laughs> you know, that's 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 a part of you being circumspect. You know, what it tell you in uh in verse fifteen, see that they walk, see that they walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So understanding that. You know, uh, these evil spirits are going to turn up even more and more and more. And now um, it's, it's a separation being made. You know, the house of Israel is being sifted. You know, the children of light are being separated from the children of darkness. So we have to make sure we're not operating within the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reproving ourselves um, from those works of darkness, not just reproving those whom are uh, working in, uh, who are, who are uh, walking in in uh the works of darkness because we got to make sure we're being circumspect in there we're not in works of darkness because foolish foolish talking you know being covetous uh filthiness jesting uh, uh fornication these are some things that can slip by you and you may not even know you're committing these things but you're actually working uh you're actually uh operating within works of darkness and then you want to reprove somebody else but you haven't even cast the beam out of your own eye so we got to be circumspect that we're not operating within the flesh you know because operating in the flesh uh, goes more in uh, is is more than just a surface level, you know. Operating within the flesh is 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 more than just uh, uh, watching TV or you know uh, listening to music or you know dealing with women, you know, which you should try to limit these things as much as possible, of course. But that's not really what operating in the flesh is. To tell you about how you how you're operating in the flesh in Galatians the fifth chapter, man. A lot of it is involved with fornication. Well, this is what's being named here in this chapter. We just read it. You know, I ain't even really gotta just read it for yourself. I just read it to you. You know, I'm not making this up. Let's go. Let's go to uh, Psalms 112 and four. That's it. This Psalm chapter 112 and four. It says unto the unbright. Upright there arise of light mm, in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and, and righteous. Wow. So it says to the upright, you know, which uh turn it to the upright. It's in Job. Kind of slipped my mind. I think it's Job the 17th chapter. Like you. Yeah. Saint uh this uh Job Saint Job seventeen and eight upright man shall be a hold on, that's not the one. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another one though, but let me read nine. This uh Saint uh Saint Job <laughs> keep saying Saint uh but he was a Saint Job seventeen and nine. The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that have clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. But that's not the one. Let me see. Oh, it's in Psalms. Okay. Psalms 94. Yeah. It's a lot here. This Psalms 94 and verse, what's that, 15? Yep, this Psalm. Psalms 94 and 15. It says, But judgment shall return unto righteousness. Uh huh. And all the upright in heart shall follow it. So all the upright in mind shall follow uh, the ways of righteousness. They're going to awake unto righteousness. So if we're truly upright in our minds, you know, which means we're truly pure and we're truly holy and truly uh, ultimately um, uh, have a chance at being slated for salvation. It could be a part of their remnant who are going to be elected uh, and redeemed um, from darkness and, and from perdition. We're going to follow 
uh, the ways of righteousness. You know, we're going to follow the ways of righteousness. We're going to cast off the works of darkness. And I want to go back to that Psalms 112 and 4 because I like 5 too. It's one of my favorite verses in 5 because it tell you, you know, how 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 to operate as, with the, as the righteous. This Psalms 112 and 4 says, Unto the upright there arise of light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. So this is what the Heavenly Father is. You know, and this is what our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach is, you know, um, uh, gracious, full of compassion and righteous and, and righteousness. And this is what represents, this is ultimately uh, what righteousness, uh, this is a part of what righteousness um, uh, includes is graciousness and compassion. You know, and this is how you uh, awake out of darkness. So if you're not being gracious, gracious or compassionate. You're not, you're not being upright in heart. Because we tell you in verse 5, it says, A good man show a favor and lend if he will guide his affairs with affairs with discretion. He will guide his affairs with discretion, with proper judgment, with, with justice, without partiality, without respect to a person, uh, without being evil. A good man show a favor, man, which ultimately represents grace. So a good man, you know, who, who is the righteous, who is upright, he's going to lend and show favor. He's going to be charitable. He's going to guide his affairs with discretion. See, he's not just going to be trying to match on people. He's going to be merciful, you know. So the upright in heart are given a guiding light for them to awake of, unto righteousness, which ultimately represents compassion, graciousness, uh, 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 lending, charity, you know, and uh, proper judgment, proper judgment, you know, and mercy, love. You know, but uh, that's that's it, man. I pray through the spirit and probably y'all bless my shout This is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakak Fadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders out there ruling well. And peace and salutations to the house of David, the late man, pushing his faith and truth sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And I want to say Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakak Fadash, Barak Adam. So, sincere listeners who uh, tune into this, and Shalom, which means uh, peace unto the nation of Israel.